Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, I am going to be sharing with you some of my favorite coloring books that I will be um, flagging for fall pages this year. Uh, they are not technically uh, fall coloring books, but a lot of them have either um, pages specifically themed towards fall and Halloween, or they have pages that you can turn into fall and Halloween pages. So. Uh, there are quite a few books, and this is going to last me through three seasons. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I am going to get started here. So the first one I have is one of my favorite coloring books. This is A Million Magical Creatures by Lulu Mayo. Uh, this one has lots of um, pages that you can transform into fall pages. So a lot of the times, anything typically with trees, unless there's like flowers all over it, which you could probably still do. But as long as you pick an autumn color palette, then you're good to go. But she does have several specifically kind of Halloween themed pages in here. So here's one spread here. And then I know that there's another one in here somewhere. I probably should have flagged these a little bit more um, so that I could flip to them faster. There we go. There's the other two. So this cute little witch is in a couple of a couple of pages, but I thought that those would be really adorable to um, to color this season. So yeah, so that is a million magical creatures. The next one I have is um, Baldge Fluster, possibly. I don't know that that's how you say it, but this is all, it's a forest book basically. So um, there are multiple um, pages in here that you can turn into the, into fall pages. Um, there are some that are more like in jungle settings, but a lot of it is set in woodlands where you can just change the color of the leaves and it's automatically a fall scene. Um, so yeah, just really love this book. So here's one that I did, but it's definitely, you're not going to see tiger in the fall forest normally. So oh, what is this here for? Oh, that was going to be my next one. Look how cute. Uh, but yeah, see a lot of these you can just color the leaves in fall colors and you're good to go. So this is another one that I will have set aside for myself to possibly color in. A uh, Nice Little Town 6 just because this is one of my uh, books to finish eventually and I there are several pictures. I know I did flag these already so we'll just go to the pages that I kind of um, flagged. So this isn't specifically, you know, there's nothing about this says definitely fall or um, Halloween, but this little backpack kind of reminds me of back to school. And then like these leaves up here could all be yellows, um, yellows and oranges kind of, and then some of the the moss and stuff can sort of started turning different colors. And you can really just make this a whole fall thing if you just adjust your color palette and then this next one uh, since that's a pair I thought that that would be that would be cute you could color the pair kind of realistically and then adding these fun little colors and then do all these fun flowers and stuff around the outside and different fall colors too so yeah and then I love on the mouse there's little elbow patches <laughs> so that's that reminds me that makes me think of fall for for sure but yeah, so that is that one in Nice Little Town 6. And then in Nice Little Town 4, I do have a page started that I really want to finish. I really do. And it's this pumpkin house one. Well, I made it a pumpkin house. I have no idea if it was actually a pumpkin house. Uh, but really like the, my, my leaves in the background. I um, want to get, you know, some more of this these things over here colored and get just get this done. Because it's so cute. I really like it so far. I'm sure there's other ones in here too that you could adjust. But yeah, like that's totally could be a fall page, even though he's fishing, but you you know, color the leaves up here in a fall color palette. He's got a scarf on, so yeah, that would all could totally change that one into a fall page. So yeah, so that's in nice little town four. Uh, in this You Are Made of Stars book, there are a couple of pages. So some of them were that's just full of leaves. And I think that was really the ones that I was kind of 
leaning towards were the ones that had just a ton of leaves. Like I think that one would be really cool. Um, this one is the one that really drew me though. Yeah, and see again, nothing specifically says fall, but I think that one would be really fun to do. So I'm gonna flag that one just so I have it kind of marked in here. Um, I think that, was there another one in here? I don't remember. I think that was it. Uh, but yeah, I love this book and I'm, I'm sad that I only have one page colored in this. So that is You Are Made of Stars by Forrest Diver. This is another one by Forrest Diver and actually it's this front cover page. Um, there are a ton of pictures in here too that you could again change to be fall themed. Um, like this one full of mushrooms. Even though there's like these strawberry fruits, you could color them more orangey um, to be kind of like, I don't know. But this is the one that I was wanting. Look at my cute new uh, post-it notes. <laughs> I love these so much. They're adorable. And I'm just gonna stick it right here. And then when you close the book, there's a little doggy staring at you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so this whole one, even though there's apples and stuff, you could have the leaves starting to churn a little bit. Um, oh, this was another one. This was another one. Now it's more themed towards vegetables, but there's a giant pumpkin on it. And, uh, you know, any of the leaves and stuff that are around, you could totally have be um, fall colored. I think this one too was another one that I really liked. You could also do that really, really cute in fall colors. But I think flagging two for now is probably enough. Yeah, so that is Peaceful Village of Dreams, again, by Forest Diver. In my 50 Farmer's Miniatures, pretty much everything in here you can change <laughs> to fall themed. Almost everything. Um, like there was one that I flagged, this one with the turkey so cute and you could do an adorable background for that that one's that one's getting colored this season um yeah see the ones with the flowers are, are more definitely more like summery spring ones but again you can change the colors of the flowers and make them fall but like any of the ones with like corn stalks and things like that i think those all kind of work for for fall. But yeah, there's a ton of ton of pages in, in this one that you can do. So I'm excited to color in this one. This one's gonna stay out probably all season. Um, okay, so then next we have Midnight Forest. And again, since this is a forest book, super easy to just say, yep, everything is in fall. So just change all of the colors of all the leaves to match whatever you want. Now the ones where it's like safari scenes and stuff, that's not necessarily gonna fly, but uh, the other ones definitely will. You can definitely adjust them to fit your needs, to fit your fall color palette. I really like this fair one. And even though there's a bunch of wildflowers, again, you can change the colors of them. Um, but yeah. I like this book a lot. Really like this one too. So yeah, that is that book. So that is Midnight, Midnight Forest from Coco Wyo. Uh, in my fairy coloring book by Yana Presverina, pretty much everything in this book is adaptable. Um, I mean, that is beautiful. There's some mermaid scenes that maybe you couldn't do, but this one you totally could. Um, I already have two fall um, pages in this one, but it, it just leans so heavily towards fall colors for me. So like this one for sure, that one, there's the Halloween one that I started, Halloween, even though there's just bats in the background, I'm going to make her a vampire, but that's really, that's all that's Halloween about it. It's not like... But again, anytime there's leaves and acorns, that always makes me think of fall. Um, I really like this one with the little mushrooms. I think that one would be a pretty fall one. But yeah. And this one, of course, is gorgeous. 
so beautiful so yeah so that is fairy coloring book and that's again one of my ones i want to finish eventually uh, this is a new book to me. So this is the RJ, the newest RJ Hampson. Uh, this is Forest Song. And you do get two pages of all of them, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. So, uh, again, ones where it's like like this, this maybe not fall-themed pages, but this one totally could be. And I think pretty much all the other ones definitely fall definitely fall so yeah it's just about adjusting your color palette so yeah excited to color in that one uh enchanted forest by johanna bassford this one she has actually said she kind of thought of as her fall book um and so yeah tons of trees and leaves and all kinds of stuff to color in this one that you can make fall themed um, I do have this beautiful yellow tree and then I have, um, I don't think I have anything else in here that's specifically fall colored, but a lot of these, the animals and like this big scene here that could totally be all fall colors. I really like this one as a fall theme, except for, I hate that that deer is right in the center. I know she got better about that, but so frustrating. Of course, these two. Um, yeah, so, yeah, excited to do something in this book this season. In my airy coloring book, this is the third tale. I think I have, uh, any of the romantic countries. They all kind of have something fall or Halloween. The third tale has quite a few, um, and there is one that I have started already. Um, so I started this one. I've got this wax paper here to try to protect the other side. Um, with this flying witch, I think she's super cool. I will hopefully get to that this season. And then of course, all these other fun Halloween and witchy kind of pages. So I have this one, they're actually trick or treating. Um, this one here, I wonder if that's just coming through from the other side. Huh, I don't love that. Hopefully I'll be able to color over top of that. I, sh I should be able to. I should be able to. Um, but yeah, there's an, I know there's a couple more witchy kind of pages a little further up. Where are you? Is it in this book? Oh, maybe not in this book, but in another one. Yeah, either Romantic Country First Tale or Second Tale. They all three of them have lots of... Halloween and fall ones. And then this one as well has a couple that I um, would like to color. So this one, which I think is super cute with the little squirrels and the acorns and the, yeah, I love that whole page. And then there's another one. It's not necessarily fall themed, but it does remind me of Harry Potter. So that might get, <laughs> that might get worked on this this fall as well. Both of these pages remind me of Harry Potter. Uh, but yeah, so that is in the um, World Heritage, I think is what it's called. And then this is the newest one. This is the Legend. Uh, and this one has a ton of cute little um, kind of fall and Halloween themed pages. So up in the front, you've got a lot of magic things. So this is like the familiar school and this is like witch training and then flying school. And then there's this whole page that's just all Halloween kind of themes. Then there's a couple of like, this is like a haunting page and I don't know. It's just cute. Just lots of cute stuff. So this one is another one that I will be hopefully working in this season. Okay. Next we have a couple of books that again are not specifically fall themed, but they do have fall themed pages in them. So this is Yuri. Yuri. Mm. Yuri Mouse sketchbook. I can't, I've never, I don't ever write, I haven't written this down, but this one has a ton of, it goes by the seasons. So, um, it does have a whole section that is fall and Halloween themed, um, which I thought were super cute. Like, look at that one. So cute. Yeah. A ton of those are adorable. I love this one too. 
just really perfect for for the season so there are those pages in that one and then again in fairy celebrations this is a book that I really need to color in. I only have one page finished in this, but there's a whole section. So the back part is Christmas here. Christmas, Christmas. Uh, Christmas, Christmas. Okay, and then we get into the Halloween and fall. So you've got this page. There's another one with witch. Um, yeah, cute, cute, cute. I really like this one. This one kind of freaks me out, but I'm sure people have done it lovely. Um, I really like this one with the moth too. Again, you know, there's berries and stuff, but you have berries in the fall, right? Um, a lot of this book you can adjust to be fall themed. I really like this one too, um, but yeah. Yeah, and then it get, kind of gets into different different seasons. But, so definitely in Fairy Celebrations. Then Botanicum, because this is one of the books I want to finish eventually. Um, there are multiple pages in the back here, fall themed, um, specifically fall themed. Um, but you could totally turn so many of these pages into... Um, Yeah, so like this one with the ivy. I love it when you can see when the ivy starts changing color and you've got the reds and the yellows and greens all mixed together. And I think that would be really pretty for that page. Um, let's see. This one I'm totally gonna turn into a fall palette. It's already got the orange tiger lilies and I feel like the Maybe some yellowy orange trees or something in the background. Maybe some red trees. And then all the ones with the pears and apples. I feel like those are so close to fall. Perfect for September. Um, coloring. And then here's another one. Cute one with pumpkin. Uh, but yeah. I love this book. So happy I started coloring in it. I just love it. Um, yeah. So that's that one. So that is Botanicum. And I also pulled Luna because this one doesn't have, I don't have any finished pages in it. I have one whip, but there are a ton of books or pages in here as well that you can adjust accordingly. Lots of, lots of leaves, lots of trees. I think a lot of those will be really fun to turn into fall pages. So yeah, cute, cute book. I really like this book. Maybe not this one, <laughs> since it's probably supposed to be like cherry blossoms and things like that. But um, yeah, any of the ones with just leaves in it, or even with a few flowers in it, those are those are definitely gonna get switched around to fall. Here's my whip, which I just need to get. I just have to finish it. It's it won't take that long get myself into that mindset okay so that is Luna and then I've got let's do this one so here in daydreams this is one that I do want to finish eventually and I have a couple pages towards the back they're not again not technically um, fall themed why are you stuck there we go uh, not fall themed but I feel like this uh, house would be really fun to turn into like maybe a haunted house. And then you can have like a spooky owl next to it. That's a possibility. Foxes always remind me of fall. So a beautiful fall palette for that would be gorgeous. This one is going to be kind of fall themed. Um, because the color palette is going to be kind of that geared that way. So yeah, that one will be... Um, Trying to think if there's any others. Maybe this rooster one will have some pretty floral colors in the background. This one is so close to being done, guys. So close. Oh, and then these, yeah, these pages. So you've got these acorn gems and this cute little guy here, which I'm going to carry that color palette into this. 
so that those two pages kind of go together. I think that might've been it for the fall ones. I might finish this page, we will see. <laughs> Still don't love the way that one turned out. Uh, but yeah, that'll help me get a few more pages done in this book, in Daydreams. And then the other two uh, from Hannah Carlson that are perfect for fall are the uh, Tales from the Forest Kingdom, which I love this book. Again, just perfect for fall pages. Absolutely perfect. I love this book so much. Let's start with that one. I do have a couple of finished pages in here too. Of course, <laughs> some of them are not very fall themed, but um, I have that one. And then I do have, see the leaves there, that'd be perfect. I have this one that is fall colors. That one is very much not fall colors. <laughs> and this one that is like that transition period, you know, from summer into fall. Um, I like, I liked my color palette for that one. So yeah, this is a book that I will have handy to color in. And then last but not least, Tales from the Witch's Cottage, which again is going to be, it can be Halloween themed, but it doesn't have to be, you know? There are lots of beautiful pages in this book that you don't have to have Halloween. Well, this one you probably would have kind of Halloween themed, but yeah. I just, I have not colored in this yet. Um, so I really want to work in this book this fall. So there you go. Those are all of my books that I um, will have kind of available uh, to color in that are not specifically fall themed, but that have lots of fun fall uh, pages to color in them. So yeah, that is, it's a, it's a lot, but it, um, I think it's going to give me a nice amount of options to color in. So I'm excited, excited to work on some things in these books. And I hope that you guys enjoy what I do over the next few months. Uh, yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.